Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, I'm coming to you today because I want to do another crusty bread recipe. I did one before that was like eight hours long and you have to keep it overnight and all that stuff. So this is an easy one. This is only takes two hours. It needs to sit for two hours, and then you bake it. So there we go. We're going to start. That's the amount of the ingredients are going to be in the description box. So first we're doing the water, warm water, so, uh, yeast, eastern dry yeast. I'm gonna mix this a little bit because I don't wanna put the yeast and the salt together. So I need some flour and I'm using bread flour. I need three, three and a quarter cups of flour to three, I'm just gonna eyeball this because it's not really, it needs to be nice and soft dough, three and a half. And there is the salt. Now the salt's gonna go in there and I'm gonna whisk this with my fork a little bit. Don't need to knead this, it doesn't need it. We're just gonna mix the ingredients together and we're gonna let it proof for two hours instead of eight hours. So there you go and these don't need any to need it it's just done look at this as long as the flour and the water incorporate together and you're all done so there you go it's not even mixed well so I'm just gonna cover this with the plastic wrap and I'm gonna put it in uh, in a warm place it's a little cool today it's 60 degrees in Orlando so I'm like, where did this weather came from? So it's nice and cloudy out and the kids are coming over for dinner. So I thought I'd make a nice crusty bread to have with a lasagna dinner tonight. My son-in-law is making lasagna and we're gonna have this nice crusty bread with it. So there he is. This is gonna go on the side. It's gonna sit there for uh, two hours and I will come back and show you what we're gonna do with it. So there I am two hours later My bread is already risen And it's nice and bubbly. So I have a parchment paper here I'm gonna put lots and lots of flour on this because don't forget this dough is very very soft So we're gonna dump this all up here on the flour and the parchment paper and with my fingers, I'm gonna add more flour on top and I'm gonna fold it in to shape it into a nice round um, a ball. Nice shape, just like this. There you go. So this is gonna sit for another 30 minutes right here on my table right here. In the meantime, I have my oven on at 450 and I have a, a cast iron a pot that I'm gonna put in the oven. I want this to get really, really hot. I'm gonna leave it in there for 30 minutes and I'm gonna come back and show you how we're gonna put it in the pot and cook it. So there it is, one, two, three, we're gonna have a nice bread. So there I am, 30 minutes later. My pot is hot, 450 degrees. It was in there for like 30 minutes. So my bread is all risen. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see, there you go. It got nice and bubbled up. So I have this little blade here. So I'm gonna squirt it a little bit around just to make, make it a little pretty. This is, this is a, a blade that I use for all my bread, so. I'm going to take this just like that with the parchment and this. I'm going to put it right in my pot. This is, don't forget, this is really, really hot. So I'm going to cover it and I'm going to put it back in the oven, 450 degrees for 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna uncover it, bake it for another 10 minutes, and it's gonna be nice and golden. 
and brown and delicious and crusty. So I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's done. So there we are. My bread is ready. It looks beautiful. Crusty bread, so crunchy on top. I hope it tastes delicious and it only took like three hours to bake it, two and a half. So I'm gonna let it cool off and I'm gonna slice it and see how it tastes. So there we are, let this bread cool a little bit. Listen to the crunch on this, wow. Oh, MG. This, mm. Still warm, still steaming. I let it cool for like five minutes. I'm ready to taste it and see how it tastes. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. Put a little butter on it. Mmm. -mm -mm. Mm. Delicious. I love the crunch. I love the moist inside. Tastes wonderful. If you like to make this bread, please get the ingredients from my YouTube channel under the name of the recipe. It's, it's going to call be called not <clears throat> no neat uh, crusty bread, and it only takes three hours, two and a half, the most. Uh, so uh, I'm going to leave you with lots of love. I'm going to enjoy my bread. I'm waiting for the kids to come for dinner. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and make sure you subscribe share and give us some thumbs up take care bye bye